There is so much to look at this video, but let's be real, you probably clicked because of the big number. And of course, that big number is mostly because of the GAN cube. All right, we've got another box to open. Here it is. This is the beauty and the beast. I can't believe Cameron actually sent this to me. Oh, this, is, this is a guaranteed way to get stopped at the airport. Collection edition? Oh boy, I can't wait for the speed solving edition with magnets. Ah, oh, that's gonna be great. Ah, this is heavy. Ah, my life is complete. Actually, my life is now just counting down to when I finally go solve this thing, and then I can finally rest afterwards. Wow, this this actually doesn't turn too badly, at least on the outer layers. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that's funny. It can it can just like flex open pieces if the layers aren't turned perfectly. <laughs> that's cool, and that's also really scaring me. I'm I'm afraid this cube's gonna gonna explode, and I'll have to put it back together. Or actually, if anything goes wrong with this, I'll just say I never received it, and please send me a new one, Cameron. Uh, that's just a secret between you and me. One, two. That went a lot better in my head. Three, four, 21. <sighs> Why did that take two minutes? Let's get one of the mats I just received. I'm either destroying the cube or the table. This is too distracting. Ooh, beautiful. All right. <sighs> Making this checkerboard pattern will actually be the end of me. Remember when I did this on 3x3 in under one second? I didn't know how good I had it. Oh, I've done it. It's the checkerboard pattern. Except this is way bigger than a board for checkers. Maybe even a board for Go. I don't know how big that board's supposed to be, but this is probably bigger. Actually, look at how much you can save using the discount code JPERM. It's like I'm giving you $75. Wow, that's really nice of me. Huh, <laughs> pathetic. Not even a cube. Quintuple center design. Wait a minute. Whoa, okay, that's super cool. Um, so the pieces here actually don't reach all the way into the core. I, I never knew how giant cubes work. Maybe this is how they all work. But since it's like there's five center pieces here, some of the outer pieces can just extend to a closer center. And then the long pieces here can go all the way down to the inside. And how the smaller big cubes work is all of the pieces can go all the way to the inside. So any piece you take out, it's gonna be pretty long. Wow, that's, that's a massive difference. This feels tiny. I'm not gonna solve it now, so I'm just gonna try and make one more pattern. I'll have to undo this checkerboard pattern. I'll leave solving it for a separate time, but I have a really cool idea for what I want this pattern to be. Yes, you heard that right. I'll be solving this just like I did with the 13 by 13, and let me know in the comments how long you think it will take me. Whoever gets the closest guess is getting pinned change of plans. The pattern I'm trying to make is too hard to do right now, so stick around till the end of the video if you want to see it, but we're going to move on. Now this. Oh, this little thing. The GAN cube is why the rest of the unboxing is so expensive. Does this look small because it's a mini cube, or is it because I just used a 21 by 21? Oh, wow. Turning fast again. What a relief. Hmm, the outer pieces look small, but the inner pieces look big? Yeah, look at this. The inner pieces are exactly the same size, but the outer pieces are a lot smaller. Oh, the insides actually look different. So here are the pieces, and this should be again 11M Pro, but in making it smaller, they've also changed some things like adding little holes in the corner for some reason. And to compare, here are some normal GAN 11M Pro pieces. And of course, I'm comparing it to the GAN 11M Pro because it has the corner to core magnets, which connects to the spot right in there, which makes the fast cube a little bit more stable. And this has the magnet adjustment like the 11M Pro. Let's just quickly check the core. Whoa, what the heck? There are numbers one to four on the inner blue thing, and there's this clear thing on the outside. So I think the system is pretty much the same as before. You just adjust them in different ways. And this makes a lot more sense to have four settings all on one ring, because what they did before was they had one blue thing, like light blue that had two settings, and then dark blue that had two other settings, and you had to switch between light and dark blue to get to the other settings. That made no sense. This is so much better. 
Let's quickly check out the accessory box, how to solve the cube, a nice bag, AirPods, cool bag. This tool lets you adjust the stuff on the inside. Let's see if I can get this on a different setting. Uh, what? Let's read the instructions. <sighs> Hope you can read Chinese. What? It's super straightforward. You just put the thing in and turn clockwise. Oh. I was always trying to turn from the top and what happens is the inside part is going to turn the thing on the very inside and that's just going to take everything out. But if you hold it like this and gently turn the outside, then you get the blue thing to turn. So now it is on setting one. The settings out of the box already seem pretty good and I don't actually know uh, how good this cube is supposed to be just from testing because I don't usually use cubes that are very small. So if you have smaller hands or like smaller cubes or you're looking for a one-handed cube, then definitely consider this because I think it's pretty much performing just as well as the GAN 11M Pro and small cubes don't always perform that well. So I am pleasantly surprised by this. Also, Gan, if you are listening, can you please ease off on the packaging? Like, how much does this cost? And can we like remove this to make the cube cheaper? We learned in the last video that apparently Moyu could just get rid of $7. So Gan, where are you at? Gan cubes just suck money out of your wallet, but they are pretty good cubes. All right, today I have received these two smart cubes, the Moyu Weilong AI and the Monster Go smart cube, but I will not be looking at them today because I feel like this video is already very long and these deserve their own video, so I'm going to look at them next time. We have quite a few more cubes to look at, but first, and a bunch of other stuff as well. Oh yes, I love the Halloween and Christmas and whatever season cubes. I think the first one I ever got was a love cube, which is pretty much just red over the entire cube, and I solved it in 10 seconds. This one definitely looks nicer, so there, as usual for the Halloween cubes, is one side where you have to get the center oriented correctly. Ah, as usual, the cube is not good out of the box because you're supposed to use the jack-o'-lantern lube. Six drops, break in, enjoy. Look, I don't need your six drops to enjoy. Mmm, smells like pumpkin spice latte. Uh, not that I order that from Starbucks or anything. Anyway, let's make this cube a good cube. Five, six. And you know what? You don't even need to follow the six drops. I think the more drops you put in, the more you'll enjoy. Just a little secret. Hmm, this time the cube didn't start too great out of the box. I'm gonna add more drops because it still feels a little dry and I just want to smell it more. Now I'll enjoy it twice as much. Oh yes, now the cube turns much better. Oh, and I'm gonna do a time solve, so let's get my setup ready. I've already used this mat today. And, oh, I, I just I just love this one. <laughs> it's the six Halloween characters, a little gravestone. Aw, oh, maybe there was a seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth one, eleventh, twelve. Oh, okay, you know what? It looks like there's just one gravestone for each of them, which makes sense, they're all kind of dead. This one's gonna be me after I solve the 21 by 21. This is definitely my favorite Halloween mat. Let's just quickly look at the other ones that are here today. This one looks okay. Oh, this one's interesting. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's like these little red sparks. Oh, these colors look great. I think orange and blue definitely show up really well on these mats. And of course, the Halloween 2021 mat in its full glory. If you want this mat or any Halloween stuff, make sure you get it before this Halloween season is over. And look, if you buy any two Halloween items, you get one Halloween item from 2020 for free. I am all speed cube shopped out here. The really nice thing is that even though the whole black side is a picture side, I don't need to worry about the pictures that go on the corners because the corners, I just see they're black and I'm mainly using the other colors to help me identify where they should go. Can I plan first pair? Uh, I think I did. All right, let's do this. But of course I got confused midway through. Oh, this is gonna be a good solve. Oh, 12 seconds, let's go. I'm happy. And I even have the cube that smiles back. Plus two, DNF. Pop, okay, I don't think that's the trifecta it's supposed to be. Wow, so if I wanna display this time, then I, I don't have one to choose. I guess pop, because I was popping off. Hype. Also, I got two other cube stands. This one's Speed Cube Shop, Halloween, and Trick or Treat. And this one is three more of the characters. 
Speaking of these characters, there is a logo set just for this. Oh man, Halloween logos. I am so excited for this. This is, this is amazing. This is everything I didn't know I wanted. Oh, they're so cute. Also, we have bags to put your cube in. We have the Grim Reaper, who's gonna come for me after I solve the 21 by 21. Uh, purple. This guy, Frankenstein's monster, except his canonical name here is Frank. Frank. I love Frank. And this guy clearly pretty peeved about something. Pump cool. <laughs> Pump cool. <laughs> Sounds like his rapper name. And he is a rapper because he wraps cubes. The logo stickers. I have one JPerm cube that doesn't have the JPerm logo on it. All my other ones do. And I'm just going to put the ghost on it because that one is my favorite. Sorry, Pump Ghoul. <laughs> That's amazing. If I ever asked for a JPerm cube and got this instead, I would not be mad. Next, we have the MS cube. It's all luby on the outside. Ugh. Interesting feel. Why does it feel a lot like it's a cube from a long, long time ago? Except obviously performs way better. Now, who remembers when MS cube came out with the MS3 V1? Is this the MS3 V2? No, it's the MS3L. Why is that the name? It is intentionally confusing. The main thing I'm feeling from this cube is it's quite a bit flimsy, which is interesting because this is um, the enhanced version. This one has more magnets in it. So let's quickly take a look. So they have the spider web design, which is just in time for Halloween. Okay, I don't have the regular version, just the enhanced. So I believe the extra magnets are probably these ones because usually the magnets go between the pieces right here. Now let's see what I can customize about this. Uh, no magnet things. How about the core? Uh, there's this. Let's just get onto the English side. Okay, I'm just looking at this. I don't want to read it clockwise and counterclockwise here for the yellow and red arrows. The default set is B and B makes it more relaxed. So it seems like B is looser. Wait, every side is already turned clockwise, which means it's already on A. What if I just made them all on B so it's the loosest? It's kind of annoying that you can't see which setting you're on, but it's actually super easy to change. I just like push and turn in the direction I want until it stops turning. Apparently this setting is gonna be even looser. Oh, geez. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not gonna work. Oh my, I removed the green springs out of the bag because I thought these were gonna be the stronger springs. Green is the weak springs and purple is the strong springs. Now, if you don't remember, this cube was made by some GAN employee who left and made their own cube. So I thought, you know, they're gonna have the same scheme, but nope, they just reversed it. The colors of the rainbow now go the opposite way. You know, all these cube companies, I get if you don't wanna copy each other, but please at least copy like color schemes and just things that make it easier for me to assume things about your cube because this is just frustrating sometimes. Oh, I can use the other spring to remove this spring. I'm so smart. Now I'm on purple springs and they're all turned fully clockwise, which is setting A, which is the tighter one. Basically, I am on the tightest slash slowest possible settings and it's still super duper fast, but at least it feels a little bit more stable now. Not even a big difference in my opinion. Wow, the corner cutting is great on the tightest settings, which, wait, wait just like cuts everywhere, which is crazy because like, why would you not have even tighter settings than this? And usually you go looser to have better corner cutting, but this already has perfect corner cutting on its tightest settings, better than like any other cube. So why would you need the looser settings? And it's already super duper fast. The cube it feels most like is the Chi Yi Wu Wei, but it does corner cut better. It's just a lot less stable. Actually, yeah, I just think that's a good comparison because in my opinion, this is not a really customizable cube. All the other stuff that you get is like not super useful, at least for me. I think that just having it on all the tightest settings is just the best one. I'm not sure how this will do in real solves just because the flimsiness matters usually less in doing algs and more during real solves. And I'm really not used to it. So I think I'll have to go do a bunch of solves with this and I'll let you guys know if it's good in the future. Oh, also there's a stand with this one as well. Next is the new Diane 2x2 cube, the Tengyun Plus M. I really liked the Tengyun. I hope this one is similar, but better. Ever since I found out Moyu cut down $7 of packaging, I'm just looking at all this being like, ugh. I don't want any of this. You know, I don't do two by two anymore. I, I like don't know any algs. I'm just gonna do PLLs. I can't do PLLs apparently. 
Uh-oh. That's a corner twist. You know, it feels pretty good, but it's it's not perfect, and a good 2x2 two two kind of has to be perfect. So, yeah, same problem as the old Tengen. It is not very good at corner cutting. 40, it does 45 here, but, you know, I kind of expect more than that. All right, what was the deal on this side? It just couldn't do 45? That's interesting. Well, let's see if it does more than 45 on these sides. Oh, it does. What the heck? Okay, it's probably just tensioned wrong then. I don't even know how to compare tensions on a 2x2, two two. there are no edges to pull apart. How about reverse corner cutting? I don't trust the white side anymore. Oh no. I don't really see a good reason to get the Tengen Plus. It is really good, of course, but a lot of them are, and I think there are better reasons for the other ones. Next, we have the Dianshang or Dianshang Solar 3M, S3M. I, I don't know what's the deal with this name. I hope it's good. What? Ooh, this one's also not a bad cube. I'm impressed with recent releases. Sometimes my turning on the first few turns looks super bad. The reason is I'm kind of trying to test the limits of the cube and see how much it's willing to tolerate, how forgiving it is with the corner cutting, and this one is not too bad. Let's take this one apart as well. It looks like a lot of cubes nowadays are going for this webbed design. Ugh, it's not a web this time, it's just weird ovals. Wait a minute. Here are pieces from a random Gan cube that I have. Would you look at that? Wow, look at the piece design from the outside. They they just didn't even care. I didn't realize this at first, but it also really feels like a Gan cube. All right. You know what, Tian Sheng, you're onto something. I could just remove this sticker and give this cube to somebody and they would probably think it's a Gan cube. That is until they see there's no adjustable magnets. Um, Inside is just a screw. Let's look at corner cutting, please. It would be so hilarious if it was just better than a GAN cube. Let's go more than 45. <laughs> oh, let's try that on a different side. Wow, okay, line to line from there. Easy. And reverse, oh no. Okay, the reverse corner cutting isn't amazing, but it still is good because it goes like right there. All right, you can't customize it, so it may not be better for you but it seems like the base cube might just be better than a GAN cube. Now remember, I'm not saying this is copied from a GAN cube. The only issue is it feels a lot more flimsy than I feel like it should be, and that might be because it's loose. It is nice that the only thing I can change is this, but also scary because if I change this and it's not good, I have no other options. Oh, that's really cool. They gave me a new set of springs. I took out one of the screws and there's this thing like this is this looks like a spring compression system where you can adjust it but there's no way to adjust this it's just like a spring locked inside a little plastic jail so it's almost like they were going to give you different sets of these or make an adjustable version but then just didn't and the extra springs that they give you these springs are maybe twice as long as this one and i, I don't even know if that would fit would it stay like permanently really compressed so we're putting the spring in here screw goes on top Oh no, it does fit. Okay, I really underestimated how much a spring can compress. And what is the deal with these extra center caps? Like these are just the ugly versions and are they even any different? Ugh. It looks like the spot for the spring is just thinner. And so I, I don't think it would be able to fit the springs that go in here, but may be able to fit the extra springs. But I, I, I don't know what is the point of these extra center caps though. All right, I've tightened every side by three quarter turns and let's see if it performs any better. I'm not sure if I like this. Maybe maybe I just keep it loose and turn more accurately because this, this seems to be a little worse at least for the corner cutting. Yeah, the corner cutting originally was great and that's the big problem with only having a system where you change the screws. That is when you change the screws, you also affect how tight and loose it is. And now the corner cutting might be a little bit worse. Yeah. So I think ideally I'd loosen it up a little bit, maybe even change the springs, but I, I really don't want to deal with all that extra stuff. It takes a long time to do. And I think this cube is already really usable in its current form, just loosened back to however it was out of the box. And for the one person who stayed till the end of the video, here's a JPerm on a 3x3 and on a 21x21. 21 21. Please leave a like, this took me 30 minutes to make. Thank you to Speedcube Shop for sending me the cubes today, and if you want to buy anything, links are in the description. And remember to use the discount code JPERM. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.